Hey y'all, what's going on? Thanks for checking out this video. As you can tell from the title, we've got our boat back from Vexus. This is me and my brother Austin. We got our boat back. Um, if you're new to my channel or this is the first one you've watched, we had a cracked hole and we sent it back to Vexus in the middle of February and we just got the boat back this past Tuesday, I believe like January the 16th. So about two months to get it back. But I have a completely different video on that. But this video is going to be the first look at it back from the factory and i'm going to show y'all what they did what's new what they reused and all that stuff so y'all stick around i'm going to show you through the new boat okay so i'm going to start on the front all i've done is put my stickers on and don't make fun of me i know they're crooked i was in a hurry but like i said all i have done is take take the cover off of it i have not done anything to it besides the stickers and take the cover off but on the updated boat i have my built-in navigation lights right here um you know no longer do you have to have your light up there they are built in to the gunnel on the boat so that's pretty cool so of course you know they they reuse that's my trolling motor and then they also i believe they put a new roller on it a new winch and they i have a different so this is different and this is new, I believe. So that, that is updated and changed on the new boats. Of course, I have my same trailer that was on the original boat. And then you still have your little, your cleat here. And it's kind of hard to open. I haven't done it yet. Um, got your rod rod holders like this. Like I said, they mounted, mounted my trawler motor back. And then I'll kind of show you. I, uh, I did, I had to purchase this. It's a dual graph mount and I didn't have one on my old boat, but I bought that and they put it on there for me. They did reuse my uh, my foot tray, my foot pedal right here that the that the trolling motor goes in. So, you know, not a, not a problem. And then these switches here are actually new. The trim and the navigation are, are new. And then of course there's the, there's your other navigation light there. So that's the, that's the front, what they've, what they've done. Like I said, you know, this is a brand new boat. It's got brand new carpet, you know, all that good stuff. So walking along, you know, the side of the boat looks pretty much the same, same trailer. And they did reuse my seats, which is, you know, not a problem. I don't, I don't mind. They reuse my seats and my glove box, but something that's new, your passenger or co-angler rod holder a rod strap is now this buckle and if you have the boat that i had it was just a little piece of uh like a bungee cord and it sucked so that is updated and then that's the same but something new on my boat that they did for me i asked them to put sea deck in it and they did so i have sea deck in the cockpit on the floor this here is sea deck and then behind my hot foot over there is also sea deck this step is updated. You can see in the bottom left down here, there's a little drain hole and you have you have tool holders in it. But uh, that step is updated. And I'll, I'll hop in the boat and show you all that. So, like I said, reused my seats and my glove box, but everything else was new. And then, you know, new badges on it. Got my, your same cleat back here. The compartments are the, they're the same. I'll pop this one open. They're the same. That's some stuff I had in my old boat that they, they threw in there. But these back back compartments are the same as they were. And then step coming around in the back. My ladder, I believe, is the same. My step ladder. And then, you know, obviously my same jack plate and the same motor that I had. Your fuel, fuel cap is still here. But on my boat, I had a 2019 and they moved the drain plug to back here. It used to be up in the front beside the driver's seat, but now it's moved moved back here. So there's my, there's my drain plug, which like I said, they moved that. And then here's a look under the boat at the hull. I believe it's a little different shape. If you can see that under the drain plug there, you have kind of like that triangle or that wedge going down. So that that is different than the other boat which is pretty neat. And then all that's still the same. My uh, plug, live well, and the overflow, all that still looks the same. Like, you know, they, they use the same design or whatever. And then, of course, getting around on the other side, you, uh, you know, similar, all that. And then here's a look down here. So I've only got, um, I've only got the live well control down there. If you can see that, I know this is kind of an awkward angle, but just the live well control there. Of course, there's the hot foot and then a little handle. And then I have the 
C deck in the back and then my switches they're still they're still the same and they did I wanted them to put this back on for me they put this bass boat technologies mount that was on my old boat they put that back on and of course they installed my trim tabs and something else that vex has fixed my jack plate uh the relay went out and they fixed that free of charge which was really cool so i really appreciate that but i wasn't even i was expecting to have to fix that on my own but when i got the boat back that was already fixed and like i said they put that uh put my mount back on and then i'm not 100 percent sure if the console's the same i can't honestly tell it's kind of dirty right now but like i had some chips in mine so i don't know if they fixed them and painted it or what but i'm not 100 percent if this is new or old i really don't know i mean it doesn't really matter but like i said it's either the same console or a different one not 100 percent sure but as far as like on the outside oh there's one more thing i'm about to forget this right here is is different these used to be black they weren't painted but now your your bilge pump they're uh they're painted white and i think it looks a little bit better but i'm gonna go ahead and hop hop up in the front real quick and i'll show y'all from the inside so i'll go ahead and walk like i said got the c deck in it got that new updated rod strap and then this compartment here you have tool holders so you could put pliers scissors all that stuff and then you open this it actually has a, a lockable latch and it has a gasket you know it's watertight the old compartments as y'all know if you have these boats or a ranger boat they were not not watertight but this one looks like it is and then you have a a drain plug on on either side of it and then of course got my jack plate and then my trim there oh and the boat had a half tank of gas in it when i got it back my batteries were fully charged. Um, I don't know if they've had the motor running. I, I would hope so, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then, so my center compartment, it's still the same, the same design as it was. Um, the little steps down there. And then this, oh, they actually at, gave me a new running light. So that one there that's mounted like that, that is a new running light, and then that's my old ones down there on the floor. So they give you a new running light, and they mount it inside the rod locker for you, which is pretty cool. And I'll just go ahead and open these two so y'all can get a look. I mean, this this is a 2023 Vexus, so this is what one will look like. So you got your cooler, which is the same as the other one. And then don't mind this mess. That's all my depth finder stuff. I asked them not to put it on there, but if they will install it if you want them to they'll put your boat just back how it was but i asked them not to because i'm gonna do some some modifications to my depth finders i'm using so that's why that looks like that so your boat unless you ask them to do that it will your depth finders will get put back how they were and then up here like i said same recessed tray but those are those are new and then of course your your navigation lights on on either side and then you no longer even have the an option to use a little pole light up here and that's kind of a look at that dual graph mount you can kind of see it it's a wedge you got two holes for your cords coming out and then i'll go ahead and go to the back so and this step up i believe it may be a little taller than the other one i'm not 100 percent sure but it's a little bit bigger step which i mean not a not a problem at all and then so of course your live wells are the same set up one big live well with two lids and you have a divider and then your back compartment is still the same as they were and then oh they did change this if you can see the the hoses for my motor that is not that that is new it was not like that on my old boat it was a little bit different the angles done different and all these I guess, I don't know if you want to call it the plumbing or the cable, but all these cables here are brand new, which is which is pretty cool. So I know that's that's new. And then here's what my battery box looks like. So they've done all this. I know it kind of looks like a jumbo mess because I have a lot of wires going places that I've got to hook up for my depth finders, but that's what that looks like. Um, got the foam in it and all that good stuff. But, but yeah, that's pretty much pretty much everything and i know like i said the boat's bare i just wanted to show y'all what it looked like coming back from the factory i'm about to put my stuff in it my safety stuff you know 
life jackets, kill switch, fire extinguisher, all that. And I'm gonna go out on the water, do the water test, make sure it's doing right. And uh, other than that, I'm looking forward to it. I wanna give a big thanks to Vexus Boats, Weedowie Marine, um, Scott Rector is the guy that I was dealing with at Vexus. He's, I think he's in the warranty department. I emailed him all the time and he was, he was helping me out and update me. It did take a little bit longer for my boat to get here than I thought it would, which I mean, is not a problem. I've got the boat back now. Uh, I got some work to do on it, but other than that, I got a brand new boat and I'm really excited about it. So y'all uh, stick around on my channel if you wanna see some videos. I'm gonna do another one once I get my stuff in it. I'll do a 2023 Vexus walkthrough. I'll show y'all how to do my graphs, all that stuff. But I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like when I got it back from the factory and tell y'all about what they had done. So I did a lot of upgrades, fixed my stuff, had gas in it, batteries charged, C deck for me and a lot of other stuff. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm really thankful that Vexus fixed it and made it right. But uh, other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.